Praise be Jesus Christ. Maria Sima is a mystic who was visited by the poor souls in purgatory. And in Sister Emmanuel Mayar's book, The Amazing Secret of Purgatory, part of the book is an interview with Maria Sima. One of the questions Sister Emmanuel asked Maria was, what happens to people who have committed suicide? Have you ever been visited by any of them? And Maria explains that the souls that she knew of that committed suicide uh, were in purgatory. None of them were lost. She says, up to now, I have never encountered the case of a suicide who was lost. But this does not mean, of course, that that doesn't exist. But often the souls tell me that the most guilty were those around them when they were negligent or spreading calumny. And so we know, of course, that to take one's own life is a very, very serious sin and we could be eternally lost. However, um, Maria gives us hope that uh, many are not lost. And then Sister Emmanuel explains, she says, "At, at this moment I asked Maria, if the souls regretted having committed suicide, she answered yes, often suicide is due to illness. These souls do regret their act because as they see things in the light of God, you you know when we die, we see things in the light of God. It's a perfect illumination of conscience. As they see things in the light of God, they understand instantly all the graces that were in store for them during the time remaining for them to live. And they do see this time which remained for them sometimes months or years, and they also see all the souls they could have helped by offering the rest of their lives to God. You see, when our eyes are opened, we see how much good we can do in this life, how much we can help others and love others. We should all have this illumination of conscience. In the end, what hurts them most is to see the good that they could have done but did not because they shortened their lives. But when the cause is illness, the Lord takes this into account, of course. And so my scripture for you is John 10, 10. Our Lord says, I have come that you may have life and have it in abundance. Our Lord wants us to do good with the the time we have here on earth. In the Catechism of the Catholic Church, um, after the Catechism reminds us of the gravity of taking one's own life. That's a serious sin. In paragraph 2283, the Catechism says, we should not despair of the eternal salvation of persons who have taken their own lives. By ways known to Him alone, God alone, God can provide the opportunity for salutary repentance. The church prays for persons who have taken their own lives. Viva Cristo Rey.